finally time. Season 4 is here, so we're gonna bust some myths that may or may not break Fortnite. So when you're in Kato Thorn's vault, or in any vault, you can only grab one of the mythics. You break the glass, and then it sends it into lockdown, and the other ones go away. But, if you're in duos or squads, is it possible to grab two weapons at the same exact time? Before we go to lockdown. So Vader's gonna try to grab the foundation, I'm gonna grab Ocean's Chug Jug, and exactly when the timer hits one, we're gonna hit E. 101. That's perfect time. Bruh. Bruh. We had the perfect timing, but sadly it does not work. Myth busted, you can only grab one at a time, even if you have perfect timing. Apparently, a turret saves you from fall damage. Yes, this suitcase turret can save you from fall damage. How? I'll show you. So go really, really high in the sky or wherever you are, throw your turret down, and stand on top of it. Now, if you edit your build, Oh, Vader made this. That's fine. So, if you break your build, and then fall, you're good. And then your turret will attack Vader. Myth confirmed. The turret saves you from fall damage. I don't know how useful that's going to be in real games, but at least it's super cool. So, Vader is now covered in mud. But will a business turret still see him? Or is he protected? Let's find out. LOL. Get wrecked and do- Oh, he's gonna die. No. No. Mud does not protect you from being seen by a business turret. Which is actually kind of surprising. I feel like that would have been a cool effect of mud. But anyways, myth busted. So, mud does not protect you from a turret, but will a bush. I'm gonna hide in this bush here, and Vader's gonna throw a turret. Hopefully it doesn't see me. And... Oh, I'm good. So the turret does not see you if you're hiding in a bush. But as soon as I come out, it sees me. Ah! I'm dead, bro. Oh, dude, these turrets are insanely good. But myth confirmed, the bush will indeed stop you from being seen. But if it's already tracking you, it will keep shooting you. So keep that in mind. So inside Kato Thorn's vault, there's actually a bonus vault that you can't actually get into. And nobody really knows how to get in. Some people have tried glitching in with the rocket ram, but nobody has really done it. What if I told you I know what's behind it? Well, I don't. But I'm going to check in replay mode, and we're going to sneak behind the wall and see what's in there. So in replay mode, if we take a look through the vault, we can see nothing. It's an empty room with some stairs, and then it goes off the map. So I don't know what they were thinking with this. They obviously could have just put a wall, but they did put an empty room behind it. Very weird. Myth confirmed. And myth mysterious. That's not even a real sentence. This is 15 pieces of wood. And I've got a rocket ram. You know the drill. How many pieces of wood will the rocket ram break? Let's find out. I'm gonna go directly in the middle. It broke one already. That's cool. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know, like five or six? Less than I thought. Let's try bricks. I have a feeling it just plows through anything and it doesn't really matter what material it is, but it has a short distance. This is 10 bricks. Let's try it. Take this brick. All of them. Wait, what just happened? I, I've never seen this before. I created little small bricks in the floor. Has anyone ever seen this before? Did I just find a glitch? Anyways, it broke through a ton of brick. I don't know why it only broke through five wood, but anyways, Rocket Ram's insane. Myth confirmed, it will go through everything. If you build a normal piece of brick and then break it, it doesn't do this. Oh, just kidding. I don't know, maybe this road is broken. Myth confirmed, blah, blah, blah. Really quick, back to this bush thing. What happens if you place the turret in the bush with you? Let's see. I'm scared. Oh, we're good. Even though it's right next to me and it's scanning right next to me, it has no idea I'm here. Look, I'm just sitting in the scan. Let's go! That is awesome. Myth confirmed. Bushes are the ultimate counter to turrets. Rocket ram versus rocket ram. What happens? Will it explode? Who knows? Go! Oh, this is perfect timing. Well, the house exploded, but Vader did not. It only did 25 damage. Myth busted. That's kind of sad. Let's try that one more time. I was expecting it to either cancel out or do some sort of crazy big rocket ram explosion or set us both into the air. One more try, Vader. Here we go. The ultimate test. Three, two, one. What? 
You went so early! And yet somehow... Where did Vader go? I knocked him into the next Fortnite season! What? How'd you get over there? I don't know how that happened. I took a lot of damage. I only did 25 to Vader, but I sent him flying. Myth... something. So, everybody knows the super annoying turrets, right? They have so much health, and they shred you. I think they have something like 750 health, which is stronger than most bosses. But what if I told you there's possibly a way to kill it in one shot? So first off, if I hit it once... Oh, no. How much health does it have? I can't tell. No! Okay, either way, it has a lot. What if I told you, if I throw a C4 on it... it ha oh, it has 750. But right now it has 630. So let me back away. And if I detonate... Shredded. Isn't that insane? So, I don't know if C4 is just super broken, or if it's specially crafted to be good at destroying turrets, but that's an easy way of destroying those super annoying things. Myth confirmed. What happens if you put a turret against a turret? I'm gonna throw mine over there. Will it shoot at the other turret? Oh, it does? They fight each other. I didn't expect that so quickly. No, don't shoot me, shoot the other turret. Ah! So, now they're fighting us, but if we get out of their sights, they shoot at each other. Wow. Dude, these turrets are crazy. And they actually do 30 damage to other turrets instead of 7. Good to know. Myth confirmed. Uh-oh. I feel like if Kato Thor didn't want his mythics to be stolen, he shouldn't have put a bunch of heist bags outside of his house. Look at his stupid face. Can you rocket ram onto the float- Vader, the island's not even there yet. Can you rocket ram onto the floating island? It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's too far, but I'm gonna try it. Save me! Oh, it's so close. Oh, I guess it depends a little bit on where the island is. Like, obviously, you could do it from here. But if you're looking to get to the island quick, a rocket ram's probably a great way of doing it. What happens if you rocket ram after going on a launch pad? You can't. But what happens if you rocket ram into a launch pad? Here we go. It destroys it. That's kind of sad. Myth busted. It would be the coolest thing on Earth if you were able to throw a business turret on a car and drive with it. Then you would have a moving turret on your car. Sadly, it doesn't work. It just bounces right off. But what if I told you there's possibly a way to get it on top of the car if you build? So if you just build over it and perfectly put the business turret where it would land on the car and then break this build... Vader! You hit my turret! By the way, these business turrets, super insanely cool. Showing off my editing skills. And... It bounces right off. Sadly, myth busted. You cannot have a really cool turret on your car. That would have been sick. So this is not really a myth, but rather just a good tip. If you see one of these cracks on the wall, you can't break it normally, but you could break it with a C4 or a rocket ramp. So just in case you didn't know, Here's a nice bonus tip. Is the rocket ram glitched? Yes. Very badly. Can you make Kato Thorne bounce with a bounce pad? You can. You can. I don't know why you would want to, but... So obviously you need to get Kato Thorne's estate vault card to get into his vault. But is there a way to glitch in there with two rocket rams? Here we go. No. In fact, we just hurt each other. But our rockets pushed each other, so let's try it one more time. Here we go. The moment of truth. No, but that was actually pretty cool. Myth busted. Did Fortnite make it more difficult to level up this season? The ultimate question. I don't know. But what I do know is that I have a secret. Toilets. My new game from a few days ago, Toilet King, is a good way of earning some XP. So if you're looking to level up, join my map, because you can get a lot of kills super quickly. It's a one-shot gun game in a very close quarters map, so there's a ton of action and a ton of fun. I've been playing a lot, and I've leveled up all the way to 50 already, and we also updated it and added some of the new weapons from this season. So here's the map code if you want to try it out. That would be sick.